This is a demonstration video of the sea light controller for fluorescent lights. So the sea light controller is a device that lets you vary and control the power consumption and brightness of lighting. So let's have a look at the setup that we have here starting with the fluorescent light. This is an off the shelf 36 watt Philips fluorescent fixture. So it's of the T8 type. This is the magnetic ballast. And of course we also have the starter or the igniter. We haven't made any modifications whatsoever to this fluorescent fixture. Now this is the sea light segment controller. It's the 10 amp model as you can see here. We can also offer 20 amp, 40 amp and 80 amp models. So if you have many more lights in your light segment then that would be more suitable for you. We have the 0 to 10 volt port over here. So if you have your own external device that you would like to use for remotely operating the sea light controller, you can do so. If you input a 10 volt signal, then it would operate at 100% power. If you input a 7 volt signal, it would operate at 70% power and so on. The minimum that it can operate for fluorescent lights is 50% power. So using the buttons over here, in real time, you can control the power consumption of your lighting. Or you can also pre-program a time schedule onto the device so that the segment controller would operate independently. So let's say at 9 p.m. you would like the power consumption to be 80% and then at midnight you would like it to be 50%. You can program a schedule like that onto the device and it would operate on its own. We have a watt meter here measuring the power consumption of the sea light controller as well as, well as the fluorescent light. So as you can see here, it's a very simple setup and this is a great retrofit solution as you can have this device installed in the beginning of your light segment without having to modify any of your lighting at all and then instantly you can control all of your lighting just by having this in the distribution box. Now I will give you a demonstration of the sea light controller in action. So as you can see right now it's at 100% power. Let's reduce that down to the minimum 50% level. And then we will be monitoring the power consumption and the brightness. So this will take a while for it to go down all the way to 50%. If we were to immediately reduce the power to 50, then it would damage the lamp. So the it happens at a very gradual rate. Okay, so as you can see at 100% power, it's at 52 watts. So that is 36 watts for the fluorescent light itself. Then there's an additional 10 or 11 watts of power consumption for the magnetic ballast. And then the sea light segment controller has a self power consumption of about 5 watts. So at 100% power, you can see the brightness on the right side at about 1200 lux. you can see the power consumption has already started going down and you can also see the lux level going down Okay, it is now stabilized at about 28 watts, 29 watts for 50% power. This is what we would expect because the power consumption of the fluorescent light is 36 watts and the ballast is 10 watts, so that's a total of 46 watts, and 50% of that is 23 watts. So clearly it has reduced from 52 to 28 or 29 watts, which is a reduction of about 23 or 24 watts. And as you can see, there's a linear relationship between the power consumption and brightness.